Okay, salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day again everyone. Um, today we will be discussing about the equation of a circle. Okay, just like uh, what we have discussed uh, in previous topics or in, even in last last year's topic. Um, every given figure, may it be from a line, okay, may it be a curve, okay, and may, may it be a wave, may it be also a figure, um, geometrical figure, yan. Each given figure in mathematics will have its own equation. The same goes pagdating sa circle. Okay? And um, if you would recall, each given figure here will have its, um, to call this, the standard form or the general equation. Okay? So for us to, ano, to um, understand better, I will give you the standard equation of a circle. Okay? The standard equation of a circle. Begin na natin agad. And this would be um, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equals to r squared. So, of course, we have the standard form. We must understand what are the different um, letters or variables here. Of course, um, since uh, we are in equation, the x and y would be um, would be your, ano, uh, would be constant. Hindi siya magbabago. Okay, what would change here and what we need to know here would be the following. Okay, H and K would be elements of real numbers and also HK would be your center. Yeah, that would be your center. And next one, um, I will just include here R also. R would be elements of real number. Okay, and of course, um... And the R would be, of course, in a circle, this would be your radius. Yeah. So these are the only things, some of the things that you need to remind yourself when you will be finding the um, equation of a circle. Okay. And if you would be finding these parts. Okay. So of course, if we, if we will have a circle like so, yeah, you will always have your center and you will always have your radius. And this is the best and the easiest way to identify the different parts, uh, the equation of the circle, and at the same time, um, if you are given the equation, you can easily identify the um, parts of the circle, which is of course the um, center and radius. So, yan. Okay, now let's go to our um, problems now. So, knowing the standard form and the different variables that we need to tackle with, um, there are only two things that will be asked from you in this um, course. First one would be what is the equation of the circle? And the next one would be, let me write that down. Yeah. What is the equation? It's the equation of the circle. And the next question that would be asked from you would be, what is the center and radius? Yeah. So this would be the only things that will be asked from you guys. So, yeah. so first one, let's go to the, uh, no. what is the equation of a circle? You can find the equation of the circle by just simply having the center and the radius. Again, you can find the equation of the circle if you have the center and your radius. For example, we have radius of 3. Okay? Just remember guys that the radius must always be positive because we will never have a negative measurement. Okay po. So you know the center and then you know um you are you know the radius. Can you find the equation of the circle? Of course. So um let's just write first the standard form. The standard form of the equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equals to r squared. And uh, knowing that this hk 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 would be your center so of course in this given in our given the center is at 0 and negative 3 so therefore we know h and k alam na natin agad si h and k okay so what do we need to do we just simply need to plug them in lalagay lang natin sila dun sa ating given okay and of course your center is given and also your radius radius is equals to um yeah r is your radius yeah r is the radius and of course our radius is just simply 3 so therefore for a while yeah, this would be your r sorry let me use the white marker this would be your r 
So ano, again, anong gagawin natin? We just simply need to plug them in. So what would happen would be x minus 0 because that is h squared plus y plus 3. What happened to, bakit siya naging plus? Kasi remember, negative yan and ito ay minus squared is equals to 3 squared. And evaluating further, this would give us x minus 0, the answer is x, and x squared is x squared, plus this one, square of binomial, this would give you y squared plus 6y plus 9 is equals to 9 as well. Okay? And definitely, your final answer would just simply be, pagsasama-samahin ko on one side of the equation, x squared plus y squared plus 6y is equals to 0. Kasi if we transpose this one, it would become minus. So we will have this one. Okay, and this would be your equation of the circle. Okay, so again, um, what's the easy part on this one? You are just simply substituting. Meaning, all the values of h and k would be um, substituted to our um, standard form. And also with the r. Okay, and then what's the next thing that we did is we just simply... Um, did ginawa natin yung square of binomial. Okay? And that would be how to find the equation of the circle given the center and the radius. Okay? Another example. Center is at 2 and 5 and the radius is equals to 2. So, what would happen here? Gagawin natin dito would be standard form is um, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equals to r squared. Substitution po, x minus 2 squared plus y y minus we have 5 ayan, squared is equals to r squared is 2 squared. And then just simply evaluate further, you will uh, get an answer for this one, the square of binomial x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared square of binomial again minus 10y plus 25 is equals to 2 squared is simply 4. Then again, combine all the terms on one side, leave nothing on the right side. Combine everything on the left side and leave nothing on the right side. You will get x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 10y um, this would be plus 25 equals to 0. Bakit walang natira? Kasi we have 4 and 4 here. So, walang matitira. Okay? So, that would be it. How to find the equation of a circle by having the center and the radius. Okay? And maybe let's have another example. What if we have our center at the origin, 0, 0, and radius as 1? So, what would happen? That would be x minus 0. That would be ito yan, yung h natin. Squared plus y minus 0 squared is equals to 1 squared. And this would give us, this would give us x minus 0 is x, or just simply x squared, plus y squared is equals to 1. Okay, so that would be it, how to find the equation of a circle given the center and the radius. On the next video, what we will do is the other way around. If you know the equation, what is the radius and what is the center, okay? So that would be all. If you would have any other questions in our class, you can view the video again or consult me in our, in our group chat. Thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.